Hello and welcome. Now is the time to create a separate component for our user. So in this video, we will create a separate component instead of the active page. We will have a users component where we can manage all the users. So if I open here, you know, we have a two, we have two bash here in uh, open. This one is compiling our file. This is running the watcher. You know, this one is running the watcher. So make sure you run the watcher because we are going to use view component. So I will close all the open file and collapse all of them. I will open the resources here. We have assets and we have the JavaScript components here inside the component. Uh, here is the profile. We have not used it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Control Shift S and then we have user. So for now we have user or users. Users is better maybe. That view and now we have another component so what is it is going to do is it is going to be users component for now this is fine this is going to be storing all the user information edit delete uh, all of those stuff for us of course profile is something different like every user can edit their own profile but for the user this is what super admin going to manage users so this is the user and then we can open our app and we can register it here so if someone I should put a comma here if someone go to the users directory or the user URL what we are going to do is we are going to we show them the users component so I will save this one and we will come to the route here to the uh, view uh, and open the master now all the way up there we have an active page instead of the active page we have users and instead of these icons okay i remove them we have s for solid and we have fa users save it let's refresh our page and see if everything is working fine okay i'll open the manage yes everything is working fine except uh, we should add a color for the user so let's see which color we are going we can add uh, um, beside that if I click on the user it is not going to do anything because we did not specify the URL here so we should use the router view here just select this one clean it router link and instead of the href here you write to where it is going to users save it oops i did it for the wrong url so it should be for this one uh, router link to it should be in the users for now it is fine let's see how it is going to work so if I open the manage users, yes, it is going to display the user component here. So uh, later we can just uh, w once, once we add our um, all our file, so that later we can customize it. As you can see, now both of them are active because of the same URL they have. So we can fix it later or remove it for now. We don't need it. We will just copy it later if we ever use it. So this is how it is going to display it here this is the user yeah if you click it is going to display the user and it is the active menu so you can put a color for this one or you do not put a color so that's it for this video and the next video we'll start creating our application so that the user can create delete update all of this stuff so see you in the next video